Happy Saturday. Embracing the moments, the present, the right now. It's in each moment. It's, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for my awareness to strive to be more present for these moments because as I'm within the last 72 hours I'm understanding that you know even when I don't understand the the importance of the moment to be present for in hindsight that presence is invaluable Yeah. And so what can you do to remind yourself to be present right now? And if it's just reminding yourself to be present right now, you're getting closer to this moment rather than living in the past or in the present. It's, it, I feel like it's the practice of my awareness, the breath, all essential for me at least because when I'm looking to run out the door, or look into what I'm going to get to next or what I missed, I'm not right here. Even in the discomfort of each feeling that I feel, in the moments that I'm in, I can still be present. Pain, joy. And you, so much we, we have no control over. And the only thing that I can control is how much I am in right this minute. And not allow the freight train of my emotions or my mind take me anywhere else than right now. That's it. And... and let myself off the hook when I vary from that moment. It doesn't serve me to beat myself up for not being present yesterday. How can I be present more right now? Be in action while being present. It's like juggling <laughs> emotionally, um, perceptively juggling. Be right here right now and bring everything else you can to the table at the same time. It's a lot like acting. In a sense, like the best actors are present for the moment. They know their words, but they're not locked into a regiment. They allow their emotions to direct and, I don't know, the, the best actors you don't know are in it because they're in the moment of the scene while in the template of the movie. It's a lot like life. Not being run by my story, what I perceive to be my story. I don't know. I'm really grateful for all the support I have in my life, and my friends, and my family, and um, yeah, the emotional sea of life. It's the sea of life. You can't control the weather. I mean, depending on what conspiracy theory you think about. But technically, in a perfect world, you can't control the weather. The water is going to crash against you. And how emotionally balanced can you stay for yourself and for those you love and support and who love and support you? Emotional lily padding and living and getting high off the drama and the highs and lows, I, it's not a place I like to be. breath. Much love.